Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well, viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, Artie! I'm Marty. His face. His face is a crime. Look! The contradiction's right here! Point is day! Your finger has a force of weight. That I'm afraid your argument lacks, Mr. Justice. I see nothing. I don't smell anything. Ugh, oh, what a time to mess up. I believe all he has added to our understanding of this photo is his fingerprint. I would hope if you refrain from soiling the evidence, Air Forehead. Perhaps Mr. Justice will care to try again? Um... Is it all the blood? Is it some of the blood? Is it because... Is it alms for the poor? <laughs> is it because of the thing that's in his hands? You, you don't see it, do you? Is it because he... Uh... Did he try to write in blood? Certainly looks like it. Did he take that? <laughs> the contradiction is right here! He had the mixing board when he did that. <laughs> he pulled it up. Did he take <laughs> that? Can someone make Sme a remix of Take That Objection, That'd Hold It, funny. and Gotcha? <laughs> the smeared blood stains? Hmm. I thought it was just my blurry vision, but it really was blurry. The way the victim's hand is raised above his head, much like a gesture I've seen many times in this court. It's almost as if he wrote something. Aha! I get it! At least, I think I get it. Get what, Fräulein? When Mr. Latus was shot, he tried to write something. And what could he write but the shooter's name? And what would he write in it but with his own blood? Pretty good, huh? I can't talk. <laughs> this would be... This is why I'm not in court. <laughs> I would just be like, and then... <laughs> and then we give him <laughs> on the face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks for making my point for me. Yes, in fact, I think that's what I, that's what I think happened here. Hmm, that doesn't seem to be a distinct possibility. The victim wrote the killer's name. Certainly a logical conclusion. Drat! I just wish it wasn't all rubbed out like that. Of course it's rubbed out. Why, if I were a killer, I certainly wouldn't want to leave my own name behind. Neither would I. Um, no one has anything else to say? About what? So the prosecution accepts this? You agree that this was the victim making an attempt to re record the name of the killer? And that the killer tried to rub the name out? What's your point? What's my point?! Let me ask you this! How did the killer know the victim was writing their name? Well, Mr. Latus was writing something in blood. Once the killer saw what it was... Wait... Once he saw what it was... But what did you just testify about the shooter? I said they were blind. Ah! <laughs> Yet the crime scene itself contradicts that. The killer had to have been able to see. Why would they write out? Why would they rub out the name and blood? Why would otherwise? they write out why the would... name? Uh, uh. May I remind the court that the defendant Machi Tobaye is blind. He couldn't have been the shooter. Uh, impossible! <laughs> Emma, don't freak out like the other witnesses. Come on now. <laughs> Order! 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 P Prosecutor Gavin, please explain to me what this all means. I mean, looking at this photo, it seems quite clear that the shooter could see. Yet up until now... It seems I owe the court an apology. Oh great, you're gonna be mm -hmm. like, mm, I tampered with the <laughs> evidence. <laughs> the Gaviniers are a band with law enforcement ties, yet a murder occurred. During our concert. Apparently this caused some confusion over jurisdiction. As a result, some reports were not filed in an entirely timely manner. Let me update the autopsy I, report. <laughs> I'm not sure I like the vibe I'm getting here. Come on! Hey, Apollo, look at him. Why is Prosecutor Gavin all relaxed and smiling like that? Like he knows something we don't. And he's about to tell us! <laughs> I've got an idea. Let's rock! With these documents. But before that, I have a question for the Fräulein detective. If I may... What? Will you go out with me, Emma Sky? Tell me, why do you think that Machi Tobaye is blind? Huh? What? What did he say? What are you saying? Of course he's blind. Of course. He's the blind pianist, right? So, so he's. 
Doesn't Lamewa lead him all around by the hand all the time? No way. I have a report here on the defendant Machi Tobaye. According to this, Machi Tobaye can see perfectly well. What? Well, you called it. His blindness was merely a publicity ploy <gasps> by right! those clever Borginians. <laughs> I was totally right! I'm like, this guy's not blind. There's no way! <laughs> He's just like sunglasses. <laughs> People kill for like the Elton John type of story of like, oh my gosh. Or, or what is it? Is it Billy Joel that also plays the piano? Who is um, the, he definitely plays the piano. Who is the dude that plays the piano and then wrote songs around the fact that his keys were broken at some spots? Was that Billy Joel? Oh, I can't remember. It was either Billy Joel or it was Billy Idol, yep. and I can't remember which one it was. <laughs> Very different people. I think Billy, Billy Joel, Joel wrote Piano Man. Okay, it, it was that guy. And I'm Billy like, jo wow, that's how you can tell you're a good pianist. Yep. And people love that kind of story. So yep. of course you would say, oh, I'm, I'm blind. <laughs> I'm legally blind, but I can You've still see. You've heard of legally see. blonde. Now it's legally blind. <laughs> well, that's the thing, though. There's a thing of yeah, being yeah. legally blind, but you can still sort of see. Yep, but it's like, yep. yeah. I know. He can see quite well. But, but you said... What did I say exactly? Air Forehead, not once in this course of this trial have I claimed the defendant was blind. The only one who did was Fräulein Detective. But, but that's... A significant fact, yes. Consider Machi Tobaye sees. And he was the only one who could have fled through the air vent. I see no problems with this. But what about the bullet holes in the wall? Yes, the bullet holes. I believe Air Forehead neatly explained those for us. He didn't miss because he couldn't see. It was the kickback from the 45 caliber revolver. A simple accident, in other words. Ah! How's that? I'm afraid your objection has just flown off for brighter skies. This is where the real fun begins, Air Forehead. I just realized- Yarr! The prosecutor has like a spray tan. <laughs> a little bit. Not as bad as uh, Zinniope, though. No, definitely. But most of the time, if you're blonde and you're that coloring, you've mm -hmm. been out in the sun a lot. And I don't think this takes place I in Florida. I can't remember how much of the trial we have left. I think we still have more testimonies, so well, I'm trying to figure uh, out if I should save and quit it, or if it'll just be, oh, but next time, guess what? There's, <laughs> there's nothing. A girl this time. <laughs> there's a girl this time. This time. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you didn't have what it took. You, you jerk! Just what was I in here for? Comic relief? Yes. And you're also the best witness ever. <laughs> yeah, apologize! <laughs> oh, sorry. That's no way to apologize. He's angered the trucy now. Look out. Ahem, <clears throat> if we can please end the bickering, now. Whatever, I'm not leaving. Can't leave like this. I'll come up with some clue to solving this case if it kills me! But your testimony has already given us enough to convict the defendant. Ugh, don't say that! <laughs> Aha, what? The blood stain. The criminal tried to wipe it off, right? That seems to be what happened, yes. We might be able to find out what was really written here. Really? You can do that? That's right. With this. It's called the luminol. 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 I forgot. Maybe you know of it. It's a chemical that reacts to blood. Ah, uh, yes. Have we done those tests yet? <laughs> As if I'm going to tell you. The blood stains covered a section of the carpet. In order to perform blood tests, that section was removed and submitted. Perhaps we should request it here in court now. Right. Go for it, Apollo. Huh? I have to do the test! Come on, you definitely played the previous game. You just have to spray the luminol on it. Simple. A chemical that reacts to blood. I've heard of this somewhere. Phoenix Ray. Yes, I believe an analysis is called for. Have at it. We interrupt this trial to bring you <laughs> epicness. Right, ready? It's easy as pie. I wish we had pie. Just touch the screen to spray the area. Here, give it a try. The eyes of the entire court are focused on me! Apollo, your hand's shaking! Ugh! Grah, let's do this! <laughs> Spray the luminol reactant. <laughs> Apollo, just as we'd like to get this done this day. Wow! Wow! It really works! I picked three, one, four, two... Did they write down an address? 
Oh, it's a code for Crazy Taxi. <laughs> Let's you ride the bike. <laughs> it was very important to Mr. Lacton. <laughs> Is that the killer's name? Hmm, maybe it is. If the killer was a robot, aha, I have it. So what is it? I thought those letters IPXX looked familiar. This is an Interpol ID number. Interpol? You mean the International Police Agency? Yes, most are undercover agents working to solve international crimes. But why would he write that number? Why would Mr. Wood- That left him! Even know a number like that! <laughs> Good show, Fräulein Detective! Rock on! Uh... Your Honor, we can verify this number immediately. Darian, are you there? Come up to the witness stand. At this point, we're going to the end of the trial. Sharknado. That's why I'm nicknaming it. Darian, you heard what we need. Go check into this Interpol ID number. Sure thing. Give me 30 minutes. No, give me 27. 27? Hmm... I'm not sure what to think about all of this. A shark just walked into the courtroom. <laughs> the prosecution's case is airtight, or so it seems. Yet if this number is really that of an Interpol agent... Oh, wait. I know. What if Mochi Tobaye is really an undercover Interpol agent? That would be a possibility. A oh, possibility, oh, yes. Oh, I'm blind and I play the piano. Nobody will ever suspect me of anything. <laughs> That's, that's, not that's Machi's voice. voice. That's not his voice. <laughs> and one that would mark him as the killer for certain. Why did Mr. Lactose know we have an Interpol ID number? And that's what I want to know. Well, we have some time before, while we await Darian's report. Let's work on unraveling another mystery, shall we? A curious mystery concerning Machi Tobaye. What are you talking about? Fräulein Detective, please accept my apologies. I received word that the defendant could in fact see just before the trial began. It seemed too much of a bother to tell you. You had me until that last bit. Does this not raise a rather straightforward question? Well, sure. Why did Machi pretend he couldn't see? Publicity! E exactly. It makes little sense. What do you think, Air Forehead? Okay, this also, I mean, this sounds terrible. If he is in a foreign country, he's introverted, he doesn't know anything, he's kind of terrified. Uh, no, I'm not Espanol. <laughs> no, but like, if he's already feeling yeah. uncomfortable in another country, making that claim so you can always be by the same person that you usually are with. That's true. Is a really good strategy. Like, mm -hmm. that way you are always with them. Because they're like, no, well, Machi can't see, so I'm sorry, Lamewa, like, you have to go on this coaster with him. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, I'm afraid of the slide! slide. <laughs> oh my god. Have we already quoted that before? In <laughs> I guarantee we have. I <laughs> sorry, people. I'm Who, afraid, me? <laughs> I'm afraid of the slide. Machi Tobaye was afraid of the slide, and he pretended he was blind. <laughs> that kind of rhymed. New song. <laughs> Do you know why? How could he know? Wait. Prosecutor Gavin knows why, doesn't he? He's known from the start of this trial. He's been leading us on the whole time. Hmm? Something wrong? Do you think perhaps this is all some kind of game? How meta. Know that the m moment I heard that report, I knew why. Hmm. I suppose people who have sold over a million records really are something else. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> there was a reason why Machi Tobaye pretended to be blind. But it wasn't for his own sake. Getting the picture now? Was it for Lamehua? It wasn't for himself? Lamehua! Lamehua! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Sorry, that's, that's too ugly. That's she has too a ugly. Well, Mr. Name. Justice, can you present evidence that shows us why the defendant had to feign blindness? I uh... haven't a clue. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea! <laughs> Air Forehead, I'm disappointed in you. We can make. Unless you're merely feigning stupidity, ya. Yeah. Keep it up, wise guy. Recall the relationship of Lamewa and Machi Tobaye. Oh, are we gonna do In the particular, thing? their arrangement over the years before are visiting our country. Present? Okay. Sure, we can. Machi had no reason to pretend he couldn't see. Which means. No, it couldn't be. Good show, Air Forehead. It seems you've thought of something. <sighs> Why can't I figure these things out on my own? I hate having to take my cues from this guy. I don't necessarily. Very well, know. look at this. This is why he was pretending he couldn't see. He wanted my attorney's badge! <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? 
I don't see how it relates to the defendant's vision or lack thereof. Well, see, it uh, is the wrong piece of evidence. <laughs> I do not see. I do see how your lack of an answer relates to this penalty, however. Uh, hair forehead, I'm disappointed in you. So, one idea that I have is the lyric sheet, actually, because, again, if you can't see, so if you can't see, then that means you can't I'm just be going for to that. do the right thing, because we need to wrap this episode Mixing. up quickly. Oh, postcard, what? That is Lamawa. Lamawa and Machi Tobaye. Recall their relationship. Their In particular, partners. their unique arrangement over the years before visiting our country. Lamewa and her pianist. They would always walk together, she leading him by the hand. Even when they got on stage, she would lead him to the piano. She would walk all the way over there with him. That's right, because he was blind. She led him at all times, never letting him go. All times? Hmm. Yet we have just learned something that makes their arrangement peculiar indeed. Machi could see! Why did they have to keep up this act the whole time? Well, wasn't it part of their, uh, performance? I think there's a simpler explanation. Machi did not need to be led by the hand at all. That can only mean one thing. The... Uh, really? Really. It was all the other way around. The one who needed to be led by the hand was Lamawa. Well, what's this? So you mean to say that Lamawa is... She's... Yes, Your Honor. Lamawa is blind. What? What? That doesn't make any sense, though, because she can just walk freely and be like, hmm, indeed. Or can't she? Order, order, order! This is crazy, Prosecutor Gavin. Is it now? Please, please shed some sanity on this madness. The defense has made an outrageous claim. The only thing outrageous I see about the defense is his vast forehead. Yet I see it as not vast in vain, this time. He's quite correct. B but th that makes no sense! Yeah, wasn't she supposed to be the landscape painter of sound or something? <laughs> well, since we have her here, actually she just watched a Bob Ross tutorial where it's like, you know, I had a, re a, a woman come to me recently saying, Bob, I couldn't paint because I'm blind. So today I thought we'd paint blindfold just to show you that anyone can paint. <laughs> anyone can cook. <laughs> <laughs> Why not ask Lamawa herself? I believe she's still in the witness waiting room. Uh, Apollo, what does this mean for our case? Don't ask me! I had no idea she couldn't see! I hadn't even imagined it until now! Bailiff, bring in Lamawa. Okay, yeah, we should have ended it. Or it's fine. Whatever. We'll divide it into two episodes. We will. Lamawa, it pains me deeply to call you before us again in this way. And yet I must. Please, do not be concerned on my behalf. Those eyes. She really can't see? Really? It is true. How funny it is that a tiny lie born in the Borginian countryside would one day grow to entangle the entire world. So, so you are? Yes, as I mentioned before, I have no memory of the time before I became La Mewa. Know, too, that my memories began in darkness. The word light has no meaning for La Mewa. I see. You may recall me saying something toward the beginning of this trial, Air Forehead. What's that? I believe I said it was unfortunate this crime had no direct witnesses. Ah. Now, Lamewa, I must ask you to stand once more. Will you testify to the court about your eyes? Of course. It was never my intent to deceive any of you. May I begin, Your Honor? Uh, yes. Yes, of course. Though I admit I'm a little lost here. I think we're all a bit lost here, Your Honor. Yeah, I, have, I, I knew there was really, another one. I have a really random like question that I you won't be able to answer, but I'm curious. If you're blind, how do you know the difference between if you're sleeping or if you're awake? You're unconscious while you're okay, sleeping. Okay, but you know how when you're sleeping, sometimes you'll have dreams and they'll seem real and stuff. I always kind of had that like wonder if you're dreaming in your sleep. You don't how always do we dream know in your sleep when we can see. I guess. I don't know. It was just like one of those things that kind of hit, like, that I thought about a while mm -hmm. ago. I'm like, wait, Lamewa's what? Lamewa's eyes. I have no memory of the light. I debuted in a world of darkness and sound. My producer came up with my PR line before he knew this. So silly as it may sound, I had to pretend I could see. Everyone in my staff knew, of course, but no others. But this is a murder trial. I apologize. It was a part of my contract, you see. 
I get it. I was to keep my blindness a secret no matter what. Music is everything for me. I never imagined something like this would. She told us the truth in the beginning, when she said she saw nothing. Very well. Does the defense yeah. have anything to add? <laughs> it's true. That's funny. I'd like to cross-examine. But what is there left to ask? There was one thing in her testimony that bothered me. Perhaps it's best if we let you get it out of your system. Someday you'll come to understand. The importance of thinking for yourself. Very well, the defense may proceed. However, be aware this court will not tolerate any questions deemed too stressful to the witness. Okay. There's only one part that bothered me. Just let me ask about that one and I'll be happy. Great. Is this, like, gonna be, like, when we press a random statement? No. We'll be like, penalty! No. No memory of what? So you don't know why you went blind? I do not. I may have been born this way, in fact. It's fruitless to attempt to pry into her past. And, I might add, it's a delicate subject. I'm not sure we can reasonably expect Mr. Justice to do anything delicately. Hey! Why are I on- Take a deep breath and calm down. <laughs> <laughs> what I am now is all that I have. It is enough, I think. I debuted in a world of darkness. Hi, 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 hi. Weren't you nervous lovely, to hit the lovely, stage lovely, in your lovely. condition? <laughs> No, not at all, surprisingly. It felt natural, singing in front of everyone. That's true! I wonder if you have stage fright. Because you don't see people. You don't know how big your audience is. <laughs> Do you ignorance, still get stage fright if you can't see the audience? Bliss. I don't. I don't get stage fright so I don't. So I don't get stage fright when I'm Let's Playing, because there's literally nobody. Sure. At the time I'm performing, there's nobody watching me. Well, and for me, it's like, when I'm on stage... If it's, let's say I'm, like, on stage performing for a show or, like, performing for choir, the audience lights are generally off, so I don't see anyone and I don't feel nervous at all. Because it's just, like, rehearsal. Okay. We gotta wrap this up quickly, Yeah, yeah, though. yeah. It's not something that just anyone can do. She has talent that much is quite clear. <laughs> <laughs> you might even say she's beloved by the gods of music. Even without light, I live perfectly happy in my world of sound. If that is a talent, as you say, then I think the gods responsible. Singular. <laughs> oh, what about your PR model? That's what I read. I read what it says. I know. My fine. producer came up with my PR model. Personal record. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't get off yep. a tangent again. Sorry. Yep. Perhaps your scene uh, music reminded him of the Borgenian scenery. <laughs> no, it was quite the opposite. The opposite? According to my producer, my music has a certain global quality. Like Enya. Global? <laughs> like Enya? <laughs> <laughs> like Enya. Multicultural, if you will. Hard to pin to one region. When people listen to it, they picture the country closest to their hearts. Which is why my music has reached so many. What a lovely story! It sounds like this producer might have known what he was doing after all. My songs are nothing more than a white canvas. To me, the real landscape painter are the listeners. When I think of that, I do not mind how I'm re represented to the world so much. Yet, one thing quickly led to another. So silly as it may sound, I pretended. Was that to protect your image as the landscape painter and sound? That does not matter so much to me, really. But the label is quite concerned about it, I think. A landscape painter who can't see. That's like a pianist who can't play, huh? Mr. Wright's like, ouch! <laughs> I'm not sure you can compare your father to Lamoa. The world of commercial music is filled with these little white lies. Nothing is sacred when it comes to publicity. Very true! Everyone on my staff may. When you say your staff, do you include Mr. Laftooth? <laughs> of course. He was my manager. So he knew. And that's what's been bugging me. Something the matter, Mr. Justice? I believe I know what is bothering our young defense attorney. You are thinking of when you discovered the body, yes? Is he right, Apollo? Yes, I was. Oh god, I'm dying. He he's alive! Mr. Let that's, that's not my name! Cold, so cold. Uh you're cold? No, you're cold. Uh, my name is not a sneeze. Can't, can't see. sneeze! <laughs> can't sneeze. <laughs> hey, there, Mr. Let uh, the, the witness is sorry. Sneezing. <laughs> Mr. Let told me if to ask the witness and he named you. Why would he do that? He knew you were blind! I... I 
I don't know. What did I just say? You need to learn to think for yourself. Meaning what? There's no mystery here if you recall everything he said. Think of his last words once more. The Witness Siren? We've heard them many times! It's like the 10th <laughs> flashback. Poi along with a little poi acting by our defense. I remember them well myself, but that statement is not what I refer. I mean what he said before that. Before? What came before that? Ack! <laughs> That's right, he tried to tell you. When he said can't see, he wasn't talking about himself. He was talking about the witness! I see! Too bad the defense did not. Well, Air Forehead, try relaxing and looking at the facts in the first next time. Dirk! <laughs> Blah. Blah. <laughs> That's a really weird face yeah. that he makes. He looks like a order, turtle. order! Recall them it was earlier testimony. I was on my way from the stage to the backstage exit. There were two shots. I couldn't do anything to stop it. But she couldn't have heard those gunshots. I thought we proved that. That is not the most important point here. Mm hmm. The moment he was shot, Mr. Lattooth <laughs> witnessed her through the window. Which you Why else would he have named her as the witness? <sighs> but I really did hear them. Two gunshots. And the man's voice. Unfortunately, such a thing was impossible. The window was closed. We have already run a simulation, of course. But it was so clear. If I heard that voice again, I would know it in an instant. Hmm. Which means, wh whoever the heck is um, the person, we haven't seen yet. Or she hasn't. Or she hasn't seen them yet. Your Honor! What is it, Bailiff? Can't you see we're in session here? We have the results back from the investigation. The investigation? Ah, the Interpol number that Mr. Latus left us. Well, let's hear it. We will continue this cross-examination afterward. Detective Crescend, your report, please. The shark's back. Sup, bros. Ask Interpol about that number. I'm sure you'll find their answer intriguing. Quick work as always, Daria. Well, tell us about the number. Is the defendant a secret agent? IPXX314206. The agent registered under that number... ...was Romain Lip- <laughs> <laughs> What? Our undercover Interpol agent was Mr. That <laughs> himself. <laughs> he was apparently in the middle of an operation. So, when he wrote those letters, he was trying to tell us his own identity. And a cautious killer tried to wipe them away. Mr. Latus was an undercover Interpol agent. So him being Lemme was manager. Was just a cover, most likely. There's one other important detail I found. Hmm. Well, out with it. It concerns that 45 caliber revolver, the murder weapon. Apparently it belonged to Romain Lid. <laughs> he had an Interpol permit to carry firearms. And the registration number on the revolver matched. So the victim was killed with his own weapon. Which makes sense. It's hard to imagine someone who wasn't an Interpol agent with such a large revolver. What if this is actually a suicide and then she's like, eh, I kind of saw... He, he tried committing suicide, but he missed and hit the wall. <laughs> <laughs> then he shot himself in the Never shoulder. Mind. Not in the brain, in the shoulder. <laughs> Whoops, I missed. Missed Oops, again. I again. <laughs> so the victim was an Interpol agent on an undercover op. I wonder how that ties into everything. It's gotta tie in somehow, you think? Yeah, somehow. Oh my gosh. Thanks for looking that into that for us, Detective Crescent. It's a great help. Uh, no problem at all, Your Honor. I'll be heading out. Hold it. Who's up? What's up? Wait. L Lamawa, is something the matter? That voice just now. Yeah, I knew it! Shark Boy and Lava Girl! Okay. You did not think it was Shark Boy. <laughs> I thought it was him. I was like, yes, no, I did. No, you thought it was Sir Topham Hat. Or what? what's he called? Uh, the yellow oh, guy. The, I also thought it could be Shark Boy. Okay. Maybe. I really thought okay. so, All yeah. Right. Darian? Mr. Darian, is it? It was him. I'm sure of it. It was him? You, you aren't sane! That voice I heard, talking to Mr. Latus, when I heard the gunshots fired. It was him! It was Mr. Darian! Is this some kind of a joke? <laughs> That's the best <laughs> damage a thing ever. Because maybe you didn't hear it. What? But whenever he does that, you hear like a guitar like, Darian! <laughs> <laughs> 
What? <laughs> no way. The courtroom fell into such a chaotic state the trial had to be suspended temporarily. Mm -hmm. I've never seen that happen before. Of course, it's not every day that you get an accusation like that one. Lamawa fingering Darian Crescent. Not only is he a guitarist, he's a detective! Okay, <laughs> we've proven that detectives can be evil. Yeah. Could it really have just been his voice that Lamawa heard? Things were changing fast, and frankly, I wasn't sure I could keep up with it. Hey! No whipping out now, Apollo! Finally, we get to the debate continued. <laughs> it was like an hour? It wasn't that bad. Okay, well... It's not that bad for you. I'm the one who has to go to bed soon. Yeah, sure. And we still have to do dishes, and I have to pack my oh, lunch. Oh, right. So, yeah. yeah Thanks yeah, for okay. watching, everybody. Tune in next time. We'll be doing more Apollo Justice Day Attorney Prospect. We're going to see the die right now. They're about to be bonus memory. Now <laughs> you're doing the Legend of Korra yeah. announcer. Anyways, have a great day, and God bless everybody. <laughs> <laughs>